Whether you have or haven't run a pay run before, you needn't worry. Sage One has been purposefully designed to help you get the job done easily and quickly. To start your pay run, click on the Process Pay Run button on the summary screen. This will take you to the first step, which is confirming the pay date. This date can be changed, providing the date you change it to falls within the same tax week or month. Once you're happy with the date, click Next to go to the second step. This is the Record Absences section. If your employee has been off sick or on maternity or paternity leave, you can record this here by clicking the Add Absence button. We have another video that will take you through this process in more detail. If there haven't been any absences, click Next to go to the Edit Pay screen. Your first employee will be automatically highlighted by Sage 1 and will have a Payments and deduction section. Before we can add a payment, we first need to create the pay element in Sage 1. Pay elements can be a salary, hourly wages, or expenses. To create a pay element, hover over Add Payment and then click Add a new payment. This will bring up a pop up box where you can select the appropriate categories for the payment. The Name field is how the pay element will show on the pay slip. So if you're happy to leave the name Sage 1 has entered, you can go ahead and click Save. If you'd like to change it, simply click into the box and type the name you'd like to assign to that pay element. Then click Save when you're done. Now we have a pay element created. This will automatically show in the payment section. All you need to do now is enter in the values of the payment as a gross amount and Sage 1 will work out how much tax and national insurance the employee needs to pay. You can add as many payments as necessary. Just follow the steps we've just been through to create more pay elements. If you have any additional deductions to take off your employee's pay, you can create these by hovering over Add Deduction and then clicking Add a new deduction. As with the payments, you can select the appropriate categories for your deduction. Once you're happy with it, click Save. The new deduction shows in the Deduction section, where you can add in a value of your deduction. If you've got more than one employee, you can go to your next employee by selecting their name from the list on the left-hand side. If you're using the same pay element as the first employee, you can choose this by clicking Add a Payment and choosing the relevant pay element instead. Once you're happy that all of your employees have the correct pay, you can click Next to go to the final stage of the pay run. Now we're at the final stage. This is where we can print draft pay slips and double check the pay that our employees will get. At this stage, if you notice anything that's not right, you can click Back to take you back to the Edit Pay step. If you're happy with the pay for all of your employees, click Complete Pay Run to finalize your pay run. After completing your pay run, you are required to send an RTI submission called an FPS or Full Payment Submission to HMRC. This tells HMRC what date you're paying your employees and what they paid in PAYE and national insurance. To send the submission, all you need to do is enter your user ID and password for the government gateway into the relevant boxes. Then click Confirm. So that's it. You successfully completed your first pay run. With Sage 1, it's really that easy.